Hey, Vinny Fish. It's still the 3rd of February, 2018. And, uh, can't get away from this, uh, video here because there is a lot being said here. So I went back and to look in on the chips. Now we can metaphorically and literally can interpret chips as many things, uh, the implantable chips and so forth, uh, computer chips, you know what I mean. But what I did was I, I just went and I, I threw it into the gematria because that's just what I was led to do. And as I'm looking at the results, you know, you can see some of the, uh, the matches that it, that it has. But it came to me that what we're looking at here is the, the, the communications going on in this dark world, right? On the dark end of it, we're, we're seeing a communication that's obvious to me that they are telegraphing an event a series of events something that is going to be a paradigm changing shift i mean this is this is coming upon us right so i look at the factions that are communicating here and you're dealing with all of it you're dealing with the synagogue of satan you're dealing with the uh, illuminati factions you're dealing with the with the dark royalty you're dealing with the masonic factions so gematria can in is just way too tricky i mean you have your 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 jewish kabbalah brand of gematria you know which is the jewish and then you have your english which runs on the six system in other words each letter is a series of six a6 b12 c18 d24 this is medieval this is more of the illuminati masonic and more modernized version of what they use okay this there's also the thelemic system that they use because that's who they learned from their their buddy uh Avrister crowley came in and basically reshaped their little system okay now i'm gonna just show you what i came up with here and it's pretty interesting because when you take all three of the secret communication systems with the word chips and you add them all together, you come up with exactly 555. Now, what is the number of grace? Five. If we got 555, are we looking at triple grace? Are we looking at what are we looking at is the question. Okay. Is the grace now out of reach? It's gone and it's not coming back therefore the people rent their clothes you understand what i mean because they now realize that they have been left behind okay then you have this guy right up here he's sitting there and everyone is just freaking out around him murdering each other and he's being completely and utterly ignored. He's got these five stars in front of him here. And his name is Chris Elliott. Now, very interestingly here, Chris, Christopher, is derived from, a, on a Christian uh, basis, means bearer of the anointed one. And it's a Greek in origin, bearer of the anointed one. Now, it goes into the Roman Catholics and whatnot, but nonetheless, this is where the name derives from. Bearer of the Anointed One. And Elliot is, my God, is Jehovah. Mm -hmm. And that derives from Elijah. Okay? So we have this guy sitting here being completely ignored, whose name is... <laughs> I mean, you really, you can't make this stuff up. My God is Jehovah the bearer of the anointed one and they are completely ignoring him and when we look a little further into it to the story of saint christopher okay he was apparently in the legend now a giant canaanite 18 feet tall named reprobus he was looking to serve the mightiest king of all so he served a canaanite king but he noticed the Canaanite king was afraid of the devil, so he went looking for the devil to serve. And he found him, and the devil he saw was afraid of Jesus Christ. So he went searching for Jesus. And he uh, found a hermit that taught him the ways of Jesus. 
And so he decided to serve God, helping people across a dangerous river. And one day a child asked him to help him across. It was high in floodwaters, and he attempted the crossing and found the child to be far heavier than he looked. He finally made it to the other side and told the child, You were so heavy. It was as if I carried the whole world across the river. The child replied, You didn't carry the world, but the maker of it, and revealed himself to be Christ. Thus the name Christopher, the bearer of Christ. Okay? Later in the story, though, Christopher visited the city of Lycia and comforted persecuted Christians there and preached the gospel. Amen. Converting thousands. The pagan king tried to stop him by tempting him with riches and even sent two women to lure him into sin. But he converted them, the two prostitutes, to Christianity. <laughs> and the king finally had him captured and beheaded. Really? That's interesting. Hell. <laughs> That's the world, folks. This is what's coming. For the time being, you got grace. Thank God. Thank Jesus. And seek him. He wants to know you. And he can bring you out of this. He's the only one. Okay? So, yeah. Hell on earth. That's what's coming. You need Jesus. I cannot stress it enough. Please seek him today if you do not know him. And if you do, cleave to him. Peace and grace to you all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 